general idea about twin motion capabilities. In the previous lesson, we learned how to navigate inside twin motion. In this lesson, we will take a general idea about twin motion and its capabilities. Let's open the demo scene material room and check it out. Let's select this tree and press F. Now, one of the very cool features in Twin Motion is that all trees and landscape elements comes pre-animated, whether it's a tree, a flower, or grass. They will all have a small motion like wind is blowing. Let's move inside the room. And here we can also see a pre-animated butterflies. So again, Twin Motion has lots of pre-animated animals in its library. If we select this sphere and press F, we can see a glowing ball that has a glow light material. We also have here spotlights that we can control. Realistic materials with bumps and reflections are shown to you in real time, unlike Max or other 3D software. Various mirror materials are also available at the Twin Motion library. If we take a look at the ground, we have a pretty much realistic interlock material, bumped, displaced, and real time displayed. Metal materials are some of the amazing things that Winmotion provides. The marble materials here are fabulous too. Pebbles on the ground are very nice too. And here we have glass materials with frosted glass or has patterns on it. We also have pre-animated people and other objects like these drones here. And later on, we will learn how to customize these. On this wall, we have plant climbers from the library. And we can add graffitis on the wall like this one. Street billboards, lighting posts, bicycles, seatings, benches, and more. We also have this section that shows us aluminum sheets and other metal materials. And by that, we have a general idea about what we can create inside Twin Motion. Before we end up this lecture, I would like to show you another very cool feature that will allow us to change weather, daytime, and sun position very easily. If we press nature here and go to weather, we can control weather with these two sliders. Whether you want it sunny, cloudy, rainy, or semi-cloudy. And let's say we choose rainy, whether this rain in summer, fall, winter, or spring. Notice when we let it rainy in winter, we will have a snow effects on our objects, and tree leaves disappears and snow fills the ground everywhere. It's that easy. Let's say we will stop the rain and move a bit to fall. You will see wind blowing faster and three colors have changed automatically. Let's get back to clear summer and check out another very cool feature. Day time. When we press here, we have daytime controls. If we bring it down, notice it changes time of the day. And automatically, sky changes and lighting units lights up. If we move it up a bit, 
it will give us down time with a yellowish sunlight and soft shadows. So for each time of the day, the whole scene lights, sky and shadows changes accordingly. And that was some of the coolest features and options of Twin Motion that we can easily apply to our upcoming projects.